Okay, people, how much is actually realistic to spend in one month in Canada as a family or as an individual? Mongo individuals, you know, you people can choose when to eat and when not to eat. But as a family, like how much is the realistic amount that you should spend in a month for family feeding? Mm? Let's let's consider that. Let's let's you know, let's let's rearrange. Or she, um, I think we should just do it in total, like not just feeding. How much can sustain a family of two or a family of three in Canada um, for a month? Let's see that. So I would say that um, the amount of money that you spend really decide, uh, depends on the taste of your family. Mm? But there are some things that actually is not dependent on taste. You don't have an op- you don't have an opinion. You don't have an option. It happens. One major thing I would say is rent. <laughs> you have to pay rent or you have to pay mortgage. You have to choose one. But that you're going to buy a house that... Um, anyway, some people are very uh, rich. If you are rich and you are watching the boy, I could say mini funds. I need some money. <laughs> okay, but some people might actually have money to pay for their house outrightly. Like people that have houses that they've paid for everything. People are rich. Respect. <laughs> but um, for most people, they have to actually pay for... Uh, rent or mortgage every month so in ontario it depends on where you are that's as i said taste taste is very very important so it depends on where you are so if you are in ontario the weather in ontario is relatively good um the weather in vancouver uh, yeah is also relatively good that means is it's good for someone that is coming from a place like nigeria because it's not terribly cold it is cold everywhere in canada is cold but it's not terribly cold and when i say terribly cold what comes to mind is my experience in montreal that i wore three gloves together <laughs> but yeah somewhere like ontario is not so cold like that so um but when you move to ontario you should be also expecting that okay since it's not so cold many people will be here many business opportunities are uh, many business and firms set up their, their headquarters here in vancouver so it's, it's expensive so i would say that it's like you're saying it's like the it's like the Lagos of Canada, if you want to see it that way, it's like Lagos of Canada, and just like you know in Lagos, Lagos is expensive. So I would say that you should prepare for rent for a one-bedroom apartment for about one thousand six to one thousand seven dollars per month. Okwabi, I know, <laughs> but that's it. That's even in a in a cheap cheap environment too. That's in a cheap but that's how if you have luck. You understand me <laughs> so when you now have a child you are expected to have a room for the child so now you're talking about two bedrooms so you should be preparing to to spend like one nine two thousand for a two bedroom in a cheap place so in a cheap place so we talked about rent utilities they bring hydro bills every month um that's why when you're checking for the house you want to rent check the utilities if you had one paying for water your money should not be up to one seven or one six because after you pay once, you now pay for water again, maybe 300 every quarter. That's $100 every month for water. Please check your utility before you make payments for your house. It's really important. So, um, we talk, talk about hydro bills. Then you have to pay for phone bill. Hydro bill, sorry, is for electricity, your gas that you're using to cook and all that. Um, I would say that for a family of two, or let's say three, but if you have a child, I would say you should be ready for about sixty to seventy dollars per month, and then for phone bills, uh, it depends on you also. Some people get phones from um, phone companies and then pay small small. For example, you can get iPhone thirteen and then pay small small. So the small small you are paying might be like seventy or eighty dollars per month, or even hundred depends on the service provider that you are going with. Let's say you are paying hundred dollars per month for that one. Add that to the one seven of our strings and uh, sixty dollar. That's 1860 right now add for food i think i should do a video on um places you can get cheap um food supply in canada you can get because it's really important or how to save money on groceries in canada so um let's budget 500 dollars per month for a family of three that's very low because your mouth you will still want cake when when your family money has finished the months but let's put that as expenses that needs to be made if you have a car you pay for car insurance car insurance is like 300 dollars and that's it so let's say that <laughs> so eventually you'll be spending like 2005 every month at family expenses so um this is just to say that when you're looking to get a job for you and your partner 
this is to give you an idea of how much you might need this is plus or minus depends on your family's taste and location and um, you can also prepare for it to negotiate during your job interviews because you already have an idea of how much you will need per month so i hope this video has helped you one way or the other if you have any other thing that you want me to talk about about canada let me know drop it in the comment section ask your questions and you can reach me at the hatching lady on instagram thank you thank you thank you subscribe like follow do that let's let's unify ourselves you get it if you don't get it forget about it thanks